channel. My name is Lay. For those of you who are new, um, little disclaimer. Callie is over here in the corner and she is watching her iPad. So if you hear that going on, I'm sorry. So for today's video, I wanted to attempt the whole like, you know, Instagram baddie thing, you know, going on. So it kind of like this whole Oh, I woke up like this. I woke up with these fabulous lashes. I woke up with this fabulous contour. I woke up with these rosy cheeks. I woke up with these beautiful pouty lips. I woke up like this. So that was my whole thing for today. You know, a lot of times they're wearing like active wear with a full beat face. And I don't know about you. But I am all for a full beat face. Like, I love a full beat face. This is actually the type of look that I would go out with, like, on the daily. Like, hey, let's go to the movies. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? If my audio is a little bit off, I do have a new mic coming. Um, it's a mic that I had before that was, like, awesome and... I stepped on it and it broke that was like a year ago and I had purchased another mic but for some reason it's just not picking up my audio like I want it to so that new mic is either coming today or tomorrow so um, my next few videos after this Kelly time say hi she's had strawberries so like her face is like red oh one thing I did want to talk about are my lashes this isn't like a 100% review video but I did want to talk about these lashes they came in this container they are by a brand called Eden Rose on Instagram and um, they were so kind to reach out to me so that I could try their lashes they don't know that I'm doing a review on YouTube they don't know that I'm even putting this up but I had to talk about these lashes you guys know I am like so cheap so I really don't want to buy lashes that are over a certain amount of money like I usually go to Ulta I'm a huge fan of Ilore and um, Ardell lashes so Ilore and Ardell and Coco lashes those are usually the three lashes that I usually have on my channel but um, this company actually reached out to me and they wanted me to try their lashes so I picked four pairs of lashes and this is actually one of the lashes the thing I didn't like is that the name of the style of lashes is not on um, it's not on the container I don't know if that's because these are like because these were sent to me because I didn't pay for them or like honestly I'm not 100% sure but I will go in my email and I will have the style of the lashes that I have on right now. I will have them right here. And then also, let me show you. Hold on. So then I also got these three. These three lashes. And I will also have the names for them on the screen as well. These are the other lashes that I got from this company. So far, once I've put these lashes on, I love the way they look. I think these are like the perfect Instagram baddie lashes. Like, look at that. Like, oh no, my lashes are just naturally like this. That pretty much like concludes my whole like ordeal. I really like these lashes. I highly suggest trying them out. I will have their Instagram down in the description box. And if you follow me on Instagram, I will have a picture with the link to their page on there. So make sure you check them out. Um, yeah, these lashes, babe. I've always wanted to try, like, you know, lashes with, like, no eyeshadow. I don't normally do that, and if I do do that, I do it with lashes that are, like, more natural, like, Ardell natural lashes, you know what I mean? Like, they're a little shorter. But these are, these are totally, these scream lay, like, 100%. I absolutely love the way these lashes look like. I can't stop <gasps> looking in the mirror. These lashes. I use the NYX Butter Glosses. Do you remember when those were like really popular? I haven't used them in quite a while, so I'm actually like really feeling this look. I have a kids function to go to, like I have the parent-teacher conferences, so I think this is very appropriate for like how I've been feeling. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know that I have been on my fitness kick, so that's pretty much like all I wear. So I thought that it tied really well and like this is from Callie's Breakfast. Um, I thought it tied really well with like the whole Instagram baddie because, you know, they're already fit, wearing fit gear, full beat face. So I just, you know, it worked. 
and my nails which guys I did them myself my mom helped me um, smooth them out but I did my well these aren't acrylics I did my gel nails on my own so I kind of want to show you guys up close now I haven't put any oil on my cuticles or anything but um, yeah they're like almond shaped like girl your girl is pressed. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. And if you're new, make sure that you make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and then hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl doesn't upload. And let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Alright, so this look is super duper simple. So of course we start with the clean face, make sure that it's nice and primed, and then we're going to go ahead and go in with our foundation. I'm using the Wet n Wild foundation. All of the shade names and any shade references will be down in the description box. But for now, this is just the Wet n Wild um, foundation. It's their liquid foundation. I don't know if they have another one, but this is the one that I have. Um, it came out like two years ago and it was like really popular. It's a really good foundation so it's great if you're looking for a cheap alternative. Um, a great drugstore foundation and it only costs like five or six bucks. Like it's really not expensive at all and especially for it to be wet and wild. The quality is phenomenal. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my face. This is a nice medium coverage foundation so it kind of gives us like that natural looking flawless skin. And I'm using a Real Technique foundation brush to blend that in. And now, I know it's dirty, but this is my Juno sponge. And I've actually been loving this way more than my Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender has been slacking lately. So, I've kind of moved on to my Juno sponge. And I need to get another one because I 100% love this sponge. And I use it all the time. And I hate having to clean it after each use. I know that sounds nasty, but whatever. So to cream contour, I'm using my LA Girl Pro um, or LA Pro Concealer. I don't know if it's LA Girl or LA Pro, but it's their Pro Concealer. And this is, I believe it's in the shade Coco. So I went ahead and I'm adding that to my nose and around the perimeter of my face. I have actually feel like I'm starting to develop a good um, like nose contour routine. So I might do a video on that pretty soon. Um, so now I'm going to just use this e.l.f. brush to blend it in. This is not the brush that I would recommend using to blend it in. Um, when I usually blend out my contour, I use a different type of brush, but I will get into that if I do a contouring and highlighting video, an updated one for 2019. I might do that. So, oh my God, my husband is texting me. I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that out and... Yeah, so we're making good progress now. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my highlighting routine. and Not my highlighting routine, my highlight. So I'm using the Makeup Revolution highlight. Um, this is in the shade, I believe it's C, uh, C8 because it's the highlighting one. The one that I have that is brightening. Again, I will get into all of this in another video. So shade references down at the bottom, boom, boom, boom. So now I'm just blending all of this out, making myself look nice, wide awake, giving you that beautiful, flawless under eye. This really helps to make you look more awake. And when you want a flawless face, flawless face, girl, when you want a flawless face, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So uh, again, Juno sponge, best thing ever. <laughs> And now I'm going to move on to setting all of this. I'm setting this with a Makeup Forever HD powder in the shade number two. It's a yellow pressed powder. Um, I will have all of the information for this down in the description box. You guys should really follow my blog because there's a lot of information on there. So moving on to my favorite blush palette of all time. This is the Morphe 8 or W8 Warm Blush Palette. Yes, girl. Girl. Like these blushes just mm. so I'm using the shade MUA it is so beautiful it's nice and rich and perfect for if you want like a natural blush you can use any of these blushes really so I just like to blend that in so that it's nice and gives me a nice flush of color and I do put a little bit on my nose especially when I'm going for a more natural look and then I'm going into my morphe high it's a highlight palette highlight bleh, highlight and contour palette 
um, I go in with the shade donut and then to highlight even more I'm going to be using this um, L'Oreal liquid highlighter I can't remember the name of it um, off the top of my dome but yes that's Cali in the background in case you were you were wondering um, so now I'm adding highlight and yeah so this is a wet and wild highlight it's a very forgotten and underrated highlight at least for me like it's been in my collection forever so now I'm going into these um, single eyeshadows I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills burnt orange it's just um, a single eyeshadow I put it in a Z palette and I'm adding that all to my lid and then I'm using this fluffy Sephora brush to blend it outwards just to give my eyelids a little bit of color so that it's not one-dimensional and I'm going to add this to the top and bottom and then I'm just going to go into my eyelashes and my eyeliner and when I say like this is so simple <laughs> it's Cali so I'm using the Marc Jacobs eyeliner which you guys know is one of my favorites because it does not budge and I'm going to set all of that with this Milani setting spray which is pretty much gone like I need to throw it in the trash and you see it just like completely ruined my neck <laughs> so that pretty much completes the face so now I'm moving on to lashes and this is what's gonna tie everything together I'm gonna go in with the style jet setter and these are so pretty like I could wear these every day they're comfortable they're a sink silk mink lash and oh my gosh like look at this they're so gorgeous that's all I did and I like look completely put together I love it so to line my lips I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics pumpkin lip liner which I love and then for lip gloss I'm going in with fortune cookie by NYX and that completes this look girl you are set to go what yes can't tell me nothing thank you all so much for watching if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share this video with anyone who you who you know would be interested in a video like this and yeah I'm putting on my sweatshirt love it and also hit me up leave a comment down below if you understand my curly hair struggles because I tried to redo my bun and homegirl looks super duper like this is a struggle it's not good anyway thanks you guys so much for watching make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel and until next time beauties mwah, stay blessed